Before we leave out today, we have a wonderful, lovely lady here that, uh, that some of you know, but many of you don't, Miss Sharon Horn. She comes to us all the way from St. George, Grit's capital of the world. That's coming up, y'all. You best know. <laughs> but um, she's in a little bit of a battle with her life, and I'm going to let her share that with you just here a moment because God's really put something on her heart to share with you. Thank you, Craig. Some of you may know me, and I'm going to try to do this. My name is Sharon Horn. I was diagnosed June 6th of 2014 with um, stage 4 uncurable lung cancer that had spread from my lungs to my back and my brain. So I went to the doctor and he told me, you know, that's what I had. And I'd already decided, well, I'll try anything once. So I told him, I said, well, let me tell you something. I said, I'll try anything you want me to try, as long as it helps. But the time that you tell me that it's not helping, that's it. I'm done. But that first conversation that I had with that doctor, probably within 10 or 15 minutes, I felt God in my heart. He said, don't worry about it. I have not one time cried because of the cancer, because I know I'm dying. I don't cry over that because he gave me that peace in knowing. And I have the attitude, I'm not positive, I'm not negative, I'm realistic. I know it's happening. It can happen right now, and that's okay. It can happen five years from now, and that's okay. I can live, outlive y'all, and that's okay. Because I know that he's got me. And I don't have to worry about anything else. So I did all those treatments. I did six chemo treatments and 24 radiation. And the last scans I had, they had not done any good. In fact, everything had grown. I've been in the hospital for about four days and after that. So now I'm under hospice care. Thank to this man, he came to see me in the hospital and suggested the hospice, and we went from there. And it's been wonderful. I try to live what I can do. I know I'm getting worse. I can feel it. I don't know. I don't think it's going to be long, but that's okay. That's okay. I'd rather be in heaven than to be here in pain and not be able to do what I want to do when I want to do it. Just like I said, the cancer doesn't bother me. It's the lack of independence, having to depend on anybody for anything because I can't drive, don't have my car. And it's really frustrating, but as far as the cancer and dying, I'm okay with it. Just got to let God do it. And, and when they told me that it was spreading and growing and this and that and I just looked at God and I said well it's been up to you but it's all up to you now and whatever you want to do I'll do and we thank God for sharing we thank God for the resurrection of Jesus Christ that makes it where she has no fear no fear of the grave you can have that